Hey guys, Grumpy here with a quick tutorial on how to rearrange the celestial bodies in your systems. So I made a rated post on this. Uh, this will be linked in the um, descriptions and pinned as a top comment. Um, but this is basically the step-by-step -step guide that I'm going to reference in order to uh, nudge one of our planets. So uh, before we do anything, what you're going to want to do is locate your star sector install location. Um, then you're going to want to go to saves, make a copy of the save you're going to be working with. So in this case, we will be working with Europa. Um, we'll just copy it to their desktop here. So that way we know that if we ever edit something that we're not supposed to, or if the game crashes, then we have a safe, um, a safe file that we can go back to. All right. So you're going to want to double click in here and then uh, open up campaign in your uh, notepad, uh, in your word editor. I use notepad plus plus. It's just really simple to use uh, and I just prefer it. And then what you're going to want to do is search for the body that you're looking for. So in our case, we're moving raw. Um, if you've been keeping up with long haul, you know, we set it a planet that's like really close to our star and it's leading to issues like um, we're unable to unload our goods we can't really you know patrol the planet it's just leading to all different kinds of issues so what we're going to do is run a search for Ra, and then we're going to find next and it'll pull some things up uh, if you give your planet if it has its standard name or if you give it like a really generic name um, you could get some false positives so you just want to make sure that you're in the right spot so uh here's Ra, and then we also see Ra again but if we scroll up, we should see the name of our star system, which is uh, Mangrela. Um, so we know we're in the right spot. Like we have the correct Ra. So what we're gonna do now is scroll down and we're looking for orbit. So it's right here. Uh, this controls the information or this controls the, I guess formula or whatever that the planet follows in order to simulate its orbit around your star system or your star. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to R, which I believe stands for radius, maybe. Um, but we're going to go ahead and edit that. Uh, so right now we're at just under 2000. That's really close to our star. Uh, we don't have like a hypergiant. It's a... It's like a medium standard size star, but at 2000, we're just really close. So what we're going to do is we're going to back it up a little. Um, we're going to try like, let's say 2800. Um, so adding nearly a thousand unit. And then the last thing that we're going to do is go ahead and hit save. Uh, close the notepad and then open up star sector and see uh, where Ra is. So uh, you can also do this with other um, celestial bodies. You just have to find out what their name is. Um, and then you can also edit the R value as well. All right, let's go ahead and load in. Okay, so this is Ra. This is where it started. Uh, I believe if we give it a second to update. And yeah, there we go. Uh, it'll back up. And I think this is a lot more comfortable of a position uh, to place raw. Um, we will still get hit with the occasional solar flare. Uh, that's fine. That won't happen too, too often. But at least now we can actually like orbit our planet. Um, so that's the tutorial. Very quick, very simple. Uh, if you do have any questions, go ahead and post them below. I might be able to answer them. I don't know too, too much about editing files, um, but maybe someone else can help you uh there's also the star sector discord which will also be linked below uh you can ask in like mod help or uh modding um they probably will be able to help you a lot more than i could anyway other than that grumpy out